Well, hey, YouTube. Welcome to another Keith Slicks video. Wait, Keith Slicks? I mean, Chuck Slicks. Wait. Anyway, well, the reason why I say Keith Slicks is today on Chuck Slicks, <laughs> uh, we're going to be talking about a Keith Carlock lick uh, that I play all the time. A lot of guys play all the time. It's just awesome. All right, and um, now a lot of guys play this, so it's, uh, you know, but I would say uh, Keith Carlock is uh, a, a drummer who uh, is known for this idea, and he plays it so well. Okay, so if you haven't, uh, if you haven't heard of Keith Carlock or seen him play, look him up. He's, he's fantastic. Uh, so anyway, I want to break down um, this Keith Carlock lick on Chuck's Licks. All right, uh, this is probably the busiest idea that I personally play. Um, as I've stated before, I think I have. You know, I'm not. Um, I don't play a lot of really busy, um, you know, licks or ideas. I, I I don't really like a lot of that stuff. Um, you know, I I like playing, you know, notier or busier ideas more in short bursts. Um, but this one is definitely busy, and it's constantly busy, okay? Um, so, but for some reason, uh, even though it is busy, I, I really I really gravitated towards it after hearing Keith do it so much, and I just started practicing it a while back and implemented it into my own playing, and I use it all the time, all right? It's a real simple concept, um, and basically it's based upon... Um, a paradiddle diddle with some extra doubles attached to it as well as a double bass drum okay so anyway what I want to do is is the the core way that that Keith plays it okay um, is this that there's sort of two little versions of this idea that we can play okay the first one is to go and this will be the longer version is it's going to be foot foot right left and that right left is accented followed by uh, ghosted right right left left right right left left okay so foot foot right left right right left left right right left left okay that's a longer version and then the shorter version will be foot foot right left right right left left okay so those are the two versions that we're gonna that we're gonna mix mix together uh, that kind of create some different phrases with this with this uh, concept Okay, and rhythmically, um, everything is going to be um, 30 second notes. Okay, so 30 second notes. So what I want to do first before we kind of get into this is just play both these these um, these variations, the uh, uh, the longer one, the longer version, as well as the shorter version. Okay, so let's check that out. Okay, so real quick, uh, now I'm going to just do the shorter one, okay?
Okay, so that's all there is to it. So the the concept behind this is just to mix those two to create different phrasing, uh, different phrasings rather. Okay, but what we're going to do for this video is we're going to uh, pick a specific idea just so we can actually uh, go through, a, you know, a specific uh, sticking. Okay, so the the one that we're going to do here is we're going to do two of the long ones followed by one of the short ones, and that's going to be a one measure fill. Okay, and it starts on count one. So two of the long ones, two of the short ones. I'm sorry. <laughs> two of the long ones, one of the short ones. Two of the long ones, one of the short ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that slow, okay? And then I'm going to add a beat in front of it and play it in context, okay? Let's try that out. Okay, so that's the basic concept right there, and, and actually, uh, it's the bass drum that's anchoring the phrasing, and the, 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 the thirty-second note double on the bass drum is, is landing on count one, the and the two, and then finally count four. So it's going one and two and three and four and okay. So that's the phrasing. So it's a two over three uh, phrasing that's being done here. Okay, and you also notice that I did a little pickup on the. Uh, uh, as well as a, I didn't start to fill right on count one, I did like a little nine stroke roll or seven stroke roll on count four on the prior measure. You don't have to do that. Um, that's just a pickup. Um, I, I add a lot of pickup, uh, a lot of pickups to most of my fills. I just like doing that. I think it transitions into the fill bar a little bit more smoothly. Um, but that's not something you have to do. Okay. All right, so now uh, I'm just going to start uh, playing it a little bit faster and start orchestrating it around the drums. And the easy part about this is the only notes that you're going to move around the drums are the two singles. That's it, the two accented singles. The double strokes, the rest of the double strokes are going to stay on the snare drum. So easy peasy. Okay, let's check it out.
Okay, so there you go. That is all there is to it. Okay. Um, all I did was uh, repeat that phrasing and that specific sticking over and over, and uh, that's what you got. And just move those two single right hand or that two, the two singles around the drums. Okay, the two accents in different places, and then your goal is just to try to keep the doubles even and, and keep them as low as you can. That's really all there is to this lick. As you can tell, it's got a, just a nice uh, flow to it, and uh, you know, and I'm a sucker for double strokes, so that's uh, another reason why I like it so much. Okay. From there, what you want to then do is just start to mix those two ideas in different ways, okay? You can mix them um, and do them in, um, in different orders to, to, uh, to create different phrasings, okay? So what I'm going to do now is just uh, do that. I'm going to mix those two, the long and the short one, in different ways. Uh, maybe add a couple of different um, orchestrations as far as those two singles go. Uh, and, and just mess around with it a little bit more, just so you can kind of hear that. And I'll go, uh, I'll go a little bit slower too, um, just so you can pick up on that. All right, let's try. It. Okay, so there you go. So there I just started to mix up uh, a little bit the order um, of playing the slow one and the long one. Okay, so uh, I just tried to start, you know, doing kind of four measure phrases with it. And, uh, you know, you can get different, um, you get a different phrasing depending on how you, uh, how you order the, the long one and the short one. Okay, so really, and, and also in a couple instances, I would even add extra double strokes. Uh, so that's something else you could do. All right. So uh, yeah, I would start adding just extra doubles to to each of them. So you could almost think of this as a constant double stroke roll, where every now and then you add a uh, a, a double bass drum and then two accented singles. Okay. So you could even think of it that way as well. Just constant doubles, and then every now and then, um, in place of uh, the right, right, left, left, do a double right on the foot and then two accented 30-second uh, notes uh, with the hands, and then continue on, okay? So that's also um, a good way to, to look at this lick, okay? So I'll do now is I'll do that. I'll just play double strokes, and then occasionally I'll throw in that, that, that double foot, followed by the right left, and just kind of keep it going, and add it in randomly, and I'll just do it on the snare drum so you can hear that, okay? And I'll do it slowly, too.
Okay, so there you go, guys. I hope that uh, made sense. That is uh, Keith Carlock's uh, famous lick. And, and actually, if you've never heard him play, one thing you'll notice is he doesn't play any, really any licks. This is like his only lick, and he'll tell you this is his only lick. Uh, he's a very groove uh, based drummer, and even his solos are based around playing a groove. But he does use this one lick, okay? Uh, and he plays it just beautifully. Okay, absolutely beautifully. Uh, so there you go, guys. All right, and there's some other little extra things that you can throw into this idea as well to kind of mix it up. Um, you know what Keith does, and what and what I've uh, been doing as well is uh, you can add seven-stroke rolls into it. You can add single drags uh, into the mix. You can also do this other um, kind of lick. Uh, you know, that the patterns right, left, right, right, left, wait, right, left, right, right, left, foot, foot, that you can throw in there sometimes. Uh, so there's all kinds of things that you can sort of mix into this, this, this idea, okay? So uh, real quick, just to end, uh, I'm just going to, you know, add a couple of these things, these extra things, just so you can hear it. It's really, really pretty cool. Let's try it. There you go, guys. All right, so there. Uh, I just mixed in some other, some other rudiments, some other uh, seven-stroke rolls, single drags, double drags. Um, basically, a I guess it's kind of a flam drag lick. I may do a video on that other one at some point, but uh, I just mixed in some other things into it. So uh, that's something that uh, Keith does a lot as well. So, but you know, start with the the basic one. It's great by itself, and you know. See what you can do with it. Have fun. All right, guys. Take care.